What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to talk about two cards that were in the latest episode of the anime that Kaito used. Of course, we're going with the Japanese anime. I have no idea how far the English anime is. I'm going to assume it's still pretty far behind, but have no idea. It's always on early in the mornings, and I'm sleeping at that time. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, this card I thought was kind of cool to talk about. I know it's not a number card, yet we have a lot of number cards to talk about. But this one was kind of a blast from the past because it's basically Paladin of White Dragon for photons. It's a photon version of it, which is pretty cool. Let's see, this one is Paladin of Photon Dragon. Uh, like I said, I think it's the same stats and everything, but I'll go ahead and read off the stats. Uh, let's see, it is a level 4 ritual dragon monster, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 1,900 attack, 1,200 defense. It's effective. You can ritual summon this card with Descendant of Quantum Dragon. You can tribute this card, special summon 1, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your hand or deck, ignoring the summoning conditions. So yeah, basically Paladin of White Dragon, but instead of for Blowers White Dragon, this one is for Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I found this was pretty cool. I don't know if this is the only ritual monster from Zell. I feel like it's the only ritual one, but I could be missing something on that. But first off, I hope this card's printed just for the simple fact that it's actually pretty good and it's a new ritual monster. I like seeing more ritual monsters. I know I feel like I've been complaining about that a lot lately and I love seeing more ritual monsters. I thought it was a cool way of summoning cards even though it's I guess a bit slow in some circumstances. Uh, I'd still like to see more support for this. You know, uh, more archetypes to do this besides just Gishkis. I know Gishkis are pretty much the only archetype that even use rituals. And this would actually, I can see this helping out photons maybe a little bit, I don't know, it would be more of a fun thing, I guess, but bringing out, a uh, pretty easy to bring out a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, that's pretty awesome. Of course, too, it also has its own ritual card, which is the Sin of Quantum Dragons. You see, we actually have a picture of that, the artwork looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, pretty basic ritual effect. I'll go ahead and read it off. This card is used to ritual summon Paladin of Photon Dragon. You must uh, also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose levels equal four or more. So, yeah, at least it's not exact, too. You can be more. Uh, what do you guys think about this card? Maybe I'm just liking it because it's a knight riding a freaking dragon. You guys know I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. You know, knights, of course, username, and dragons. So, uh, but I really do hope to see more ritual monsters. I hope this card's just printed. I don't know if it would be used as much, but I can see this card being printed, and I don't see its effect really changing. I mean, like I said, I think this is the exact same stats, even an attack and offense, if I'm not mistaken, of Paladin White Dragon. I know Paladin White Dragon has the same attack. I don't know about the defense. I don't remember. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think maybe there should be more ritual monsters in the future? Maybe not even with the anime, but, you know, just like a new archetype in general. I'd, I'd love to see that, honestly, you know, and that could work good with Xyz and Synchros and stuff, too. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe, and also tell me, is this the first ritual monster for Zell? I don't remember. I feel like this is, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm sure someone out there has seen all the episodes and know. Uh, I don't really keep up to date with too many of the episodes. I like watch one here and there, so I think I'm still pretty far behind. So, yeah, they could have had a few other ritual monsters, but I just don't know. So, tell me what you guys think. Thank you for watching. All the info will be in the description, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.